Hi guys, it's Ash here. Welcome to another video. So if you guys are a fan of Ladies Code or you guys have been following me for a while, you guys know that our contract with our entertainment label has been terminated. So since our seven year is up now, we have to find our own place to live in. And for the first time ever, I'll be fully independent on my own, living alone. And it's just crazy because first time in 28 years, I was pretty much very dependent on my company because I didn't have to worry about having a roof over my head or food because everything has been provided by my company and I am so lucky that I had um, support for the past eight years. Well, it's more like nine, including the years as trainee also. Now that I have to be on my own, um, I have to worry about these things that I never had to think about and it is a little nerve-wracking but then at the same time I'm excited for this new chapter in my life and my first mission is to find a house so I have to move out of the storm by the end of this month which is the end of February and I have about two and a half weeks left which is not a lot of time so I gotta quickly make my move thankfully I have a lot of friends and peers around me who have been through this already so I have my reliable friends guiding me in uh, the right direction and I'm so grateful for that so to find a house in Korea I'm going to be using apps and also personally calling the realtors on my own to um, ask for listings the main apps I'll be using are Chikbang and Peter Pan I'm gonna try to find houses in Seoul with these apps and hopefully I find a place soon because I do not have a lot of time left, seriously. Trying to go a little more south towards the river, but not cross the river because I like Gangbuk better than Gangnam. Gongdeok or Yongsan, um, Mapo. Hopefully I do find a house near there that I want. So I'm gonna take you on my journey of becoming an adult. And of course I'm not buying a house, I'm just gonna be renting a house I have to find something that matches my budget as well yeah I really hope it goes well wish me luck guys I am at Gongdeok today I am starting my house hunt let's go look at houses <laughs> so we're just checking out random royalties that are in the neighborhood because we're just trying to go to as many as possible you can just go in anywhere and ask um, about the kind of houses you want We went to like four different realties, but they said there are not there was not a lot of houses in this area that match my Requirements, so we're gonna take a subway and go to Hotongbo one yet and try to see houses there Walking downtown and I'm okay He's got it all figured out It's what they all say, yeah Everyone's so We saw like two houses so far And we went to like seven different realties I'll say It's easier said than done That guy so we started out in the Nindok station and then went to Hyecheonggwangwon station and then went to Sangbakji station and then came to Buksakyeong station and there were just no houses. Like we saw two in the five hours we searched for houses. Oh my god, this is stressful. I'm gonna try again tomorrow and the day after and till Saturday. So. Day two of house hunting. Today I'm in a brand new uh, neighborhood. It is Namyeong Station. I've actually never been here before, but it is very close to Sungmyeong University. And I'm going to check out Office Terrace Office Tell starting today because there aren't that many villas that are kind of like new and clean. So I only wanted to live in a villa because I just have so much stuff and I can't fit everything into a studio 
but I might not have a choice so I'm going to look up some office towels too just in case so I called a bunch of realties yesterday and today just to ask about some of the listings and they just said there aren't that many houses out right now maybe because it's winter and not not a lot of people are moving in the cold so I think this is about the worst time possible that anyone can move and it sucks because I have to move out in two weeks I have to find a place ASAP and it's like so stressful I haven't been able to sleep um, this past week because I've been so anxious about finding a place and I've been just really worried so I'm waiting for the realtor to get here I'm back at the dorm now after looking at four different houses two out of the four houses I saw today I really liked the villa that I couldn't actually take videos or pictures of because someone was there um, it was like the, basically the entire floor it was the biggest villa I've seen till now and they have elevators and um, it's very safe etc and it's very spacious which is hard to find um, but the rent is a bit expensive so yeah and then the last house I saw was also a villa that was just a one room like a studio but a kind of like a big one I think it's like double the size of regular one rooms or studios so it was nice but the only thing that kind of makes me hesitate is the fact that the house is on the fifth floor and there are no escalators so that one is a lot cheaper than the villa that I liked but I think I should look around some more I definitely underestimated how expensive apartments and houses were in Seoul I can't try to find a perfect house there's not gonna be that perfect house unless I pay like thousands and thousands and thousands a month it is February 13th. I'm supposed to move out of this house by like February 28th, 29th. Yeah, so basically two weeks. I'll find something, right? I, I'll, I'll be able to find something. But it was fun looking at houses. I like brought my little notepad around and I was taking notes. Good thing about office tells is that they're all like... Well, the ones that I saw, they're new, fully renovated. They have everything you need, like the washing machine, fridge, air conditioner, but like the maintenance fee is really expensive. Some of the office sales maintenance fee is like over a hundred dollars. Some of the most of them are like most of them are like 70, 80 a month. I mean I guess it's like safe. But I'm just wondering, like, can I fit all of my stuff in a studio? And the answer is no. I don't think so I do have some appointments on Saturday to look at the houses that were only available like after 6 p.m. tomorrow I might take a rest I only got two hours of sleep last night so I think I need to kind of rest up they call me Mr. Tibbs last house today I like the location and the overall size and the building itself was pretty new and it had an elevator and everything so it's okay but then I keep thinking about the other villa I saw which I liked a little more but it's kind of like it's a little more expensive but it is a lot more spacious so I called back just in case and they said it's already signed I have to make a decision fast because I feel like with this house too if I don't make my decision within like one or two days it's gonna someone else is gonna take it so but then like I was thinking like what if there's a better house like what if there's something else but I, I'm just, I just didn't see it yet hey guys so I just got home from radio and I'm so happy to say that I have finally found my new home ah, 
Okay, so I have made my deposit and I will go sign a contract this Wednesday. Yeah, it is Monday, so just two more days and the house is officially mine. Well, not buying it, unfortunately. So I have about two weeks to clean my dorm up, organize, get boxes, get ready to make the move. So the next two weeks are going to be really, really busy. I feel like a big chunk has been lifted off of my shoulders because I was just super stressed and, you know, anxious about not being able to find a place. But I feel really relieved and I feel like I can sleep a little better. This house I got really lucky with because it wasn't even one of the houses that I saw on Chikbang or Peter Pan. We went to go see one of the houses and we didn't really like it and we decided to just go to a realtor that was like right next door just completely random went in there and she told us to come back the next day i went in and i ended up really liking it it was just uh about like imanon like twenty dollars more twenty dollars cheaper than the other house that i really liked in the beginning so i was just gonna go with the bigger house at first but then I called them and they said someone already took it. So I was kind of bummed out because I was like, damn it, if I just made my decision sooner, I could have just had the bigger house. Uh, but because of my indecisiveness, I lost it. So with this house, I made my decision after one day because I don't want to lose the house again. And I knew I was never going to be able to find the perfect house. So all I have to worry about now is the moving part, which is also a bit complicated, but I think I'll be okay. I just gotta start packing and organizing my stuff now. Whew, finally I got that house thing out of the way. I finally signed the papers to my new house. This is such a cool feeling. It's legit. I got my own place now. I signed a contract and everything. I'm gonna start organizing my bookshelf and just putting in whatever I'm gonna take with me to the new house in this box. Photo booth memories. Another book, collage book that my friends made me before I left to Korea. These are all letters that I've received from my friends and family. I can never throw this out, could I? I should be packing, but I'm getting emotional reading these letters and cards. I have all these letters from our fans. family matters first. We fuss and fight, we hug it out, and then we fight again. That's how the cycle goes, it's up and down and round again. It makes no sense when you've grown fighting like some kids. It might look strange to you, but that's just how my family is. We fuss and fight, we hug it out, and then we fight again. That's how the cycle goes, it's up and down and round again. It makes no sense when you've grown fighting like some kids. It might look strange to you, but that's just how my family is. <laughs>